September 24, Daily Devotions There is a longing only you can feel A raging tempest only you can still my soul is thirsty, Lord, to know you as I've known. Drink from the river that flows before your throne. Take me deeper, deeper in love with you. Jesus, hold me close in your embrace. Take me deeper, deeper than I ever been before. I just want to love you more and more. How I long to be deeper in love. Sunrise to sunrise. I will seek your face Drawn by the Spirit To the promise of your grace My heart is found in you A hope that will abide Here in your presence Forever satisfied Take me deeper Read John chapter 15, verses 1 to 8. I am the true vine, and my Father is the vine dresser. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that does bear fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. Already you are clean because of the word that I have spoken to you. Abide in me and I in you, as the branch cannot bear fruit by itself unless it abides in the vine. Neither can you, unless you abide in me. I am the vine, you are the branches. Whoever abides in me and I in him, he it is that bears much fruit. For apart from me, you can do nothing. If anyone does not abide in me, he is thrown away like a branch and withers, and the branches are gathered, thrown into the fire and burned. If you abide in me, and my words abide in you, ask whatever you wish, and it will be done for you. By this, my Father is glorified, that you bear much fruit, and so prove to be my disciples. I am the vine. Jesus said, I am the true vine, and my Father is the gardener. Every branch in me that does not bear fruit, he takes away, and every branch that bears fruit, he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. I am the vine, you are the branches. He who abides in me 
and I in him bears much fruit. My Father is glorified that you bear much fruit. A vine is the trunk of a plant that grows out of the ground. This is where the nutrients and sap that are needed by the branches to bear fruit come from. The Father is the gardener. His task is to help the branches produce the most amount of fruit possible. We are the branches and are the focus of the gardener's attention because we are the ones producing fruit. Jesus here is saying that we, the branches, must stay connected to the vine by constantly abiding in Him. Here are three principles that we can learn from this illustration. First, the barren branch. If your life consistently bears no fruit, God will intervene to discipline you. Discipline is what happens when our loving God comes in to discipline us to take us away from our own destructive and fruitful pursuits. We can never love God with all of our hearts, mind, and strength if we harbor secret sins in our lives and He disciplines us to take those things away so that we will start to bear fruit. Second, bearing some fruit. Every branch that bears fruit he prunes, that it may bear more fruit. If your life bears some fruit, God will intervene to prune you, so you will be able to produce more fruit. As the gardener prunes, the vine of unwanted shoots, leaves and twigs, so sunshine and air can go freely to the branches to start bearing fruit. Our Heavenly Father will prune all those things that drain our precious time and energy from what is truly important. His purpose in pruning us is to put us to practice to seek His kingdom first. We will never seek His kingdom first with a lot of distractions. Third, abide in the Lord. If your life starts bearing more fruit, God will invite you to abide more deeply. To abide means to stay closely connected, to remain in the vine. Jesus is showing His disciples that the vital, consistent connection with Him will directly determine the amount of His power at work in their lives. As an air conditioner has impressive features in its technology, it is useless without connecting to the power source, which is the electric current. And so are we. Even if we have so many degrees, resources, and achievements, if we are not connected to the power source, which is Christ, we are nothing. Reflection Let us all make a conscious effort to start bearing much fruit of the Spirit, which is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, gentleness, faithfulness, and self-control. Stay connected to Him and start bearing much of these, and in so doing, John 15, 8 states, that only in bearing much fruit will God be glorified, showing ourselves to be His disciples. Let us be not just hearers, but doers of the Word. Prayer Lord, help me to dwell deeply in Your Word, to cultivate a deeper relationship by abiding in You. And in doing so, we would be able to be nourished and strengthened and produce much fruit of the Spirit, showing ourselves to be truly your disciples. You are the vine, and we the branches will need to keep abiding in you alone. Thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name, amen.